Hello everyone, welcome back to Analog IAS Prelims 2020 special and today's topic will be from environment. In this series we are looking at those topics which have higher returns for the time you spend on these topics. So today's topic will be about star ratings and energy efficiency. Why are we looking at this particular topic and what is the background with which we are looking at this topic. So energy efficiency is the new norm in energy sector these days and there are a lot of articles coming in newspapers on energy efficiency. Now what is this energy efficiency? Simply put energy efficiency means that we'll be using less energy to perform the same task. Say for example your old air conditioner uses 3 units of power for every 1 hour. Now if energy efficiency of that particular air conditioner is improved it will be producing the same output with just one unit of electricity. The wastage of two units of electricity is reduced by manufacturing processes which focuses on energy efficiency. That is the central point of this entire exercise. Now we have this body called the Bureau of Energy Efficiency which focuses on rating these instruments and setting standards to energy efficient appliances. Let us try to look at that program. Before beginning, let us look at the end objective of this entire exercise. So the exercise is about making informed choice and ensuring that the cost incurred on our power bills are saved. So it is about empowering the consumer to ensure that he makes informed choices while making purchases with respect to electrical appliances. Obviously, he would want to buy those equipment which will give him lesser power bill. Take this as an example, see this energy label which shows that it consumes around 248 units per year. So this shows that this particular appliance is rated 5 stars. So the Bureau of Energy Efficiency lays down certain standards according to which the electrical appliances manufacturers should abide by to ensure energy efficiency. Now why are we focusing on energy efficiency? The resources used to create power will have effect on our climate as well. Say for example, in the world right now, most of us are dependent upon renewable energy sources like oil and gas or in our case, we are using coal to produce energy. So in this way, by producing appliances which are not efficient, we are producing more and more waste through coal burning for creating power. So reducing energy wastage is the best way to control these emissions. So what is the target of this scheme? It is expected to save over 3 billion units by 2030. What is the significance of this year 2030? If you take a look at the sustainable development goals, all the targets are fixed to the year 2030. And these sustainable development goals are aligned with our Paris climate deal. In this particular Paris climate agreement, India committed to achieve the three targets. These targets are called intended nationally determined contributions, where a public pledge from a country on how it plans to play its part in the post 2020. So you have to note this point, this is a post 2020 regime. But India already started implementing all its uh, commitments and started moving in that direction. So one of the commitment made by India in this particular deal is to reduce the energy GDP by 33 to 35% from 2005 levels. So we are basically talking about reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by 33 to 35%. Energy efficiency is one way to achieve it because nearly more than 60% of the power produced in our country right now is through coal. So this program aims to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions by at least 2.4 million ton of carbon dioxide by the year 2030. What is the significance of the year? Like I've told you, it is the year where we want to achieve the sustainable development goals. So these are the various initiatives that are aimed to ensure that these goals are met. Now what are the mandatory appliances as proposed by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency? Of course, it doesn't mean that electrical appliances manufacturers will not apply for BE ratings unless and until it is mandatory. 
there are certain companies which will definitely go for energy efficiency rebels because it will improve their credibility in the market say for example a product which is considered to be more energy efficient will be preferred by a customer who is worried about his power consumption bill so apart from this mandatory appliances there are also appliances which voluntarily submit their appliances for energy rating now what are the mandatory appliances let us have a look room air conditioners refrigerators fluorescent lamps transformers room air condition or refrigerator either frost free or direct cool refrigerator color tvs electric geysers inverter air conditioners and led lamps all this have a potential to consume high energy and innovations in our industry have allowed for creation of energy efficient appliances in these sectors so there is every incentive for companies to invest in those technologies which are energy efficient so in order to enforce that technology is adopted by the industry itself bureau of energy efficiency which is created under the energy conservation act of 2001 enforces these labels or enforces these regulations to ensure that the industry adopts this standards now as a result what happened we have more and more number of appliances which are considered to be more efficient say for example we have five star rated inverter model air conditioners which consume nearly 50% of the electricity consumed by traditional air conditioners all this is because of the innovations that happened in energy efficiency sector and the adaptation of those particular innovations in our industry now what is the current update with respect to this energy labels recently i mean in the last year there was a notification from the power ministry that microwave ovens and washing machines are also subjected to this mandatory ratings the reason is because we see more and more number of people buying microwave ovens and washing machines and there is definitely a scope for creation of energy efficient appliances in this industry as well for this purpose the ministry notified that national accreditation board for testing and calibration of laboratories will be the nodal agency to ensure that uh, after the scrutiny of this uh, energy efficient appliances by the bureau of energy efficiency they will be rated by nabl so apart from the list of previous mandatory appliances you have to note that even microwave ovens and washing machines are added to the list this information might be important because they might help you in eliminating options in your upsc prelims please take a note of this points also look out for any current affairs on this energy efficient appliances and notifications in your current affairs that's it for the day thank you